Hi guys, uh, in this video I want to show that GCD of two consecutive Fibonacci numbers equals to 1. Or in other words, uh, two consecutive Fibonacci numbers are relatively prime. So before I'm going to show and to prove the statement, let's first recover the definition of Fibonacci numbers. So remember, Fibonacci numbers is a sequence of 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on where we know the first two terms and we're getting the new term by adding two previous terms. So we can define uh, the sequence as follows. We can say that f1 equals 1, f2 equals 1 according to this uh, sequence, then my fn I will have that is fn minus 1 plus f n minus 2. And we can see since we start with first number, second number, then we want this bit to be true for all n bigger or equal than 3. Yeah, so in this case we can check superfile that f3 equals f2 plus f1 equals 1 plus 1 equals to 2. And this is 2 in D. Okay, right now by having this formula, uh, actually this recursive relation, and by using one fact that I'm going to prove in the end of this video, that if, let's say, we have two integers a and b, and let's say a is bigger than b, then I'm going to show the GCD of a and b equals to the GCD of b uh, and a minus b. Yeah, so if we're gonna take the bigger number and subtract the smaller one, our GCD is not going to change. Okay, let's say this is, let's call, for example, this is fact. And let's use this fact to prove our statement. So I, what I want to show, I want to show this statement, the GCD of two consecutive Fibonacci numbers are equal to one. So let's start. Let's take two any consecutive Fibonacci numbers, fn plus 1 and fn. And let's from there consider the GCD of these two numbers, fn plus 1 and fn. And since by our construction the next number fn is going to be pre bigger than the previous ones, I can see that I can apply my fact, so I will get the GCD of fn, since fn is here is a small number, uh, uh, with uh, fn plus 1 minus fn are going to the same as the previous one. So our GCD is not going to change. But here let's take a look at this expression. So I want to think about what is fn plus 1 minus fn. But fn, minus, uh, fn plus 1 minus fn, by definition of fn plus 1, is just fn plus fn minus 1. So in this case, this expression just equals to fn minus 1. So what is my actual GCD equals to? My GCD is equals to GCD of fn and fn minus 1. And we can see that we started with GCD of fn n plus 1 and fn, and we decreased our index by 1. So we can keep going this till we're going to reach the GCD of my uh, consec two consecutive numbers, which is going to be f1 and f2. So in this case, we'll get GCD of f2 and f1, but in this case, it's just GCD of 1 and 1, so it equals to 1. Okay, so we started with GCD of any two consecutive number and we get that in the end that uh, the GCD equals to 1. So from here our statement is proved. Okay, so let's take this whole process to the bubble and the important fact that we proved the statement by using this fact. So uh, let's actually take this fact right now 
and let me give you a proof how to prove that this GCD are actually the same. And actually, this proof you can use and prove the another statement that if we have GCD of some numbers a and b, then we can write this GCD as a linear combination of numbers a and b, whereas a n plus b m for some n and m, which are integers. But I'm not going to prove this, I might prove this in my next video, but let's first prove this statement. Okay, so how, how the proof goes? Let's say my GCD of a and b equals to d, and my GCD of uh, b and a minus b equals to d prime. Then my goal is to show, I want to show, that my d equals to d prime. Yeah. So let's actually discuss this first. What does it mean like d equals to d prime? Uh, from number theory class or for like simple arithmetic, you can check that uh, we want to show that d divides d prime and d prime divides d. Uh, I'm Actually, I can take this, maybe this is fact one, and this is fact two, and I can prove this fact two after I'm gonna prove this thing, because I want to focus on proving uh, this expression right now. So we want to check this too, that d divides d, one, uh, d prime, and d prime divides d, and then we're gonna get that d equals to d prime. Okay, so let's first show, let's say this is my one, this is my two, let's first show number one. Okay, so here I want to show that d divides d prime. But what do you know about uh, d? d by definition is GCD of, of a and b. Yes? And what is GCD of a and b? GCD is greatest common divisor. So uh, it follows that d divides a and d divides b. But if d divides a and d divides b, from here follows that d divides a minus b. And also d divides b. So d, it forms from here, is a common divisor of a minus b and b. But since uh, d prime in this case is the biggest common divisor, is the greatest common divisor. From here follows that d divides d prime, and we are done. Okay. For our second session, we want to show that uh, d prime divides d. Yeah. So again, we're going to use the definition of our d prime. So first, we know that d prime divides b. And from here follows that there is, exists some integer and now like t that my b equals d prime t. Yes? So what we want to show, if we want to show that d prime divides d, in this case, I want to show that d prime uh, going to divide a and d prime will going to divide b. Because in this case, by using the same arguments that I use over here, uh, it's going to mean that d prime is going to be a common divisor. But we already given that d prime divides b. So let's show that d prime uh, divides a. But we know by definition of d prime that d prime divides a minus b. So from here follows that a minus b equals d prime, let's say, times some uh, integer u. But what we know about b, we know b also can be written as d prime. So from here I can solve for a and I will get that my a equals to uh, d prime uh, u plus t. So here I, I can see that I can write a is a multiplication of d prime and u plus t. So from here follows the d prime divides a. So I have the d prime divides b, the d prime divides a. So again, it's a common divisor 
of uh, a and b so by the same argument that they use over here it means d prime uh, so from here follows the d prime divides d okay and what i have i have that uh, d divides d prime d prime divides d so from here follows the d equals d prime okay and the last small thing about fact two let's i'm going to use green one let's actually show me fact number two here so i want to show that if d divides d prime and d prime divides d then from here equals d equals d prime okay but if d divides d prime it means d prime equals du but if d prime divides d it means d equals uh, d prime v so we can plug in this my second expression to the first one so from here we'll get that d prime equals d uv oh sorry d prime uv I can solve this for no I can solve I can factor d prime so d prime equals 1 minus uv equals to 0 so since d prime is not 0 I can divide by both uh, sides by d prime so from here I will get that uv equals 1 but u and v uh, are integers so the only way how we can multiply two integers and get in one if from here follows that u equals v equals to 1 so what we got here is a d prime equals d okay and we are done so we can see how proving this small fact that uh, gcd of two consecutive fibonacci numbers equals to one involved like two facts and i don't know like i just I just like this proof okay in my future video i'm going to show a couple more video about fibonacci numbers uh i hope you enjoyed this video uh if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and let me know if you have any questions thank you for watching